Hey, game changers. Listen, have you ever been working your little patootie off inside Canva to get this perfect layout? Like you spend all this time making sure it says exactly what you want to and the text is aligned perfectly and all you gotta do is slide in just the right photo. So you look and you search and you look and you search and you find the perfect photo. It's the photo that you've just gotta, 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 gotta use. So you use the photo and as soon as you slide it in, the layout goes all wonky, right? The text is over the person's face or it hides something really important that you want people to see. And you're like, how do I do this? So you feel like, oh my God, now I got to redesign everything. I've got to change the layout and move the text. Well, what if there was something simple that you could do, right? What if you could just put the picture in? You're like, oh my God, if I could just flip this photo, it would make my life so much easier. Well, there is a way to do it. And I'm going to teach it to you today. So um, just in case you're joining me for the first time, my name is Jay Stone. I am AKA the brand mother, master brand strategist, and I help entrepreneurs build bankable brands. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. When you hit the subscribe button, ding the little bell so you can get the notifications, then comment, like, share this video. Now let's jump into the tutorial. All right, guys, so let's talk about how to flip an image in Canva. So have you ever spent all this time on the Canva design and it ends up looking something like this and then you find yourself trying to drag all these items over here and move stuff like this and or if you're really smart, right, you take all these things and group them together. I select all that and click group, right? And then I can move it like this, but then you might wanna put it down here. And so it's all of this stuff that can be done to try to move this off your face or any other image that you might wanna use, right? So we spend all this time looking for images, trying to figure out, okay, exactly where can I put this stuff right so let's just say i wanted to use this image instead right now the stuff is over here okay so all of these things are really aggravating irritating frustrating right so the great thing about this is that there is a tool that you can flip the image so what i'm going to do right now is when i select the image a menu will pop up so i'm selecting the gray area right up here at the top of the screen there's nothing when i select the image uh the properties or the options for editing this image pop right up here okay so what i might want to do is i want to click the flip and you'll see it has horizontal flip and vertical flip right so if i click horizontal flip then it moves flips the image right here okay so now the text is where i need it to be and then the vertical flip option, let's show you what that does, is it flips it up and down, which of course we don't want that, right? So that's a pretty cool thing. Now, sometimes you'll find like, um, Canva will act really funny about allowing you to flip the image. Sometimes the images need to be in a frame in order for you to do that. So I'm just going to show you how to add the frame so that it still allows you to flip. So I want to go to elements. Okay. And I don't want to, do, I want to go to grids and the very first grid you see is the single block. If you click that, it actually fills up your entire, um, artboard. It fills up your entire artboard, the end, which is the background. Okay. And the reason why I like this versus say choosing, you know, a frame, right? I like the grid versus choosing a frame uh, because when you choose a frame, right? Look at how you see the square. Let me just delete this. Uh, let me delete that frame. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go back, hold on. And I want to tell you why you want to choose a frame versus a shape. Um, excuse me, why you want to choose a grid versus a shape. 
So when I click this shape, I only get the four handlebars around the shape. So I would end up trying to drag this sucker like this, and it ends up like not being able to like resize it. So I personally want to choose the grid because watch what happens when I look at the grid, the big block grid. I have the center handlebars that allow me to size height and width a lot better, okay? And look what it does. It brings it down, it resizes so that the image fits wherever you're trying to force it to be. So if I wanted it rectangle, you know, vertical, I wanna make it a third of the image, it does that. So that's really important. So why this is important is because sometimes for whatever reason, and I, I don't know, you know, what the properties of an image are, sometimes you click and it won't give you the option to flip. And I find that I have to actually put it inside a grid or a frame, and then I can actually flip the grid or the frame. So let's go back to my uploads. And I'm going to go back to, I think, the original image that I had there and watch. I'm going to if I click, it just drops it anywhere, right? So I'm actually going to drag it over here so it drops it right in the frame, okay? And I'm going to select the image, and right back up here, it says flip. I'm going to take select flip and do horizontal flip, and now the image is where I need it to be. So that's the basics of how to flip an image in Canva. Lots of people were telling me they didn't even know that this was an option. So uh, we're going to spend some time going over the features. So hope you love it. And we'll catch you guys on the flip side.